Bionic Wheelbot Walking and rolling like the cartwheeling spider New drive concepts and amazing forms of movement have always played an important role in our bionic learning network. With the Bionic Wheelbot, a walking robot with very special properties has emerged, inspired by the cartwheeling spider. The biological inspiration for the Bionic Wheelbot is the cartwheeling spider, Sabrinus Regenbergi. It lives in the Erg Chibi Desert on the edge of the Sahara. Professor Ingo Richenberg, a bionics professor at TU Berlin, discovered it there in 2008. The cartwheeling spider can walk like other spiders. However, this spider can also propel itself forwards with a combined sequence of somersaulting and rolling on the ground. Number 2. Bionic ANTs. Cooperative behavior inspired by nature. Ants are hard workers that live in large colonies with a clear hierarchy. Working as a team enables them to perform tasks that a single animal would not be able to manage on its own. This is why we drew inspiration from more than just the delicate anatomy of real ants when creating the bionic ANTs. For the first time, the cooperative behavior of the creatures is also transferred to the world of technology using complex control algorithms intelligent subsystems for solving a common task. Like their natural role models, the bionic ANTs work together according to clear rules. The small robots communicate with each other and coordinate their actions and movements with each other. The artificial ants thus demonstrate how autonomous individual components can solve a complex task together by working as an overall network system. Number 3. Bionic Flying Fox ultralight flying object with intelligent kinematics for the bionic flying fox our developers from the bionic learning network took a close look at the flying fox and incorporated its special flying characteristics into the technology the combination of the integrated onboard electronics with an external motion capture system enables the ultralight flying object to move semi-autonomously in a defined airspace the flying fox belongs to the order Choroptera, the only mammals that can actively fly. A particular characteristic is their fine elastic flying membrane that stretches from the extended metacarpal and finger bones down to the foot joints. In flight, the animals control the curvature of the flying membrane with their fingers, allowing them to move aerodynamically and agilely through the air. They thereby achieve maximum uplift, even when performing slow flying maneuvers. Number 4. Festo's newest robot is a hopping bionic kangaroo. The German robotics company unveils its most ambitious bio-inspired robot yet. Every year, Festo comes up with innovative and fantastical new robot designs as part of its bionic learning network, which seeks to use principles from nature to provide inspiration for technical applications. In practice, this means developing all kinds of spectacular robotic animals, including this absolutely amazing flying seagull. For the last few years, Festo has been secretly working in their sprawling German laboratory lair on their most ambitious bio-inspired robot yet, an unstoppable, we assume, hopping robotic kangaroo. Every year, Festo comes up with innovative and fantastical new robot designs as part of its bionic learning network, which seeks to use principles from nature to provide inspiration for technical applications. In practice, this means developing all kinds of spectacular robotic animals, including this absolutely amazing flying seagull. Number 5. Bionicopter. Inspired by the flight of the dragonfly. Lightweight construction and functional integration make it possible. With the Bionicopter, our bionic learning network has technically implemented the highly complex flight characteristics of the Dragonfly. Like its natural role model, the ultralight aircraft can maneuver in all directions, hover on the spot, and sail without flapping its wings. For the first time, a model can handle more flight conditions than helicopters, motorized and non-motorized gliders combined. Highly integrated lightweight construction. This unique flight behavior is made possible by a design approach that has already played an important role in the Smartbird, 
components such as sensors, actuators, and mechanics, as well as control and regulation technology are installed and matched up on board in the tightest of spaces. Number 6. Bionic Soft Arm. Modular Pneumatic Lightweight Robot. Whether free and flexible movements or defined sequences, thanks to its modular design, a lightweight pneumatic robot can be used for numerous applications. In combination with various adaptive pneumatic grippers, it can pick up and manipulate a wide variety of objects and shapes. At the same time, it has been designed to yield and poses no danger to the user, even in the event of a collision. Potential for the collaborative workspaces of the future. As a result, the Bionic Soft Arm meets two essential requirements for tomorrow's collaborative workspaces, increasingly eliminating the strict separation between the worker's manual tasks and the automated actions of the robot. This means that in the future, both humans and machines will be able to work on the same workpiece or component at the same time. Number 7. Emotion Butterflies Ultralight Flying Objects with Collective Behavior Flying is a recurring theme in the Bionic Learning Network. Our insights from the Bionic Copter and Emotion Spheres projects were incorporated into the development of Bionic Butterflies. They combine the ultralight design of artificial insects with coordinated, collective flight behavior. Coordinated flying thanks to indoor GPS with infrared cameras. Ten cameras installed in the room record the butterflies via two infrared markers on their wings. The cameras transmit the position data to a central master computer, which coordinates the butterflies from the outside. Intelligent networking creates a control and monitoring system that could be used in the networked factory of the future. Number 8. Theo Jansen. He is the leading artist of kinetic art with the nickname of Da Vinci in the 21st century. He is famous for making wind-driven structures using simple materials such as pet bottles, tubes, and cable ties. Since 1990, he has been working on kinetic art, creating his own unique art world, Strand Beast, a beach animal. Links of appropriate length are linked together to create a complex movement as if the animal's legs were moving. Theo Jansen's Holy Numbers Theo Jansen's basic structure consists of 11 bars. Theo Jansen has found the most appropriate bar length ratio for many years through computation and generation replacement. He calls these sets of numbers holy numbers. Holy numbers is shown in the above simulation. Click to edit mode. Number 9. Boston Dynamics Robot Dog spotted taking a walk along Florida beachfront. A woman has been filmed taking one of Boston Dynamics $75,000 robot dogs for a walk down a street in Florida, showcasing some of the incredible and slightly unnerving skills that it possesses. The dog, if you can really call it that, is called Scrappy, and ones exactly like it have previously been used in space testing facilities and crime scenes, but this one has recently been seen trotting down the beachfront for a lovely, and almost normal, dog walk. During that walk, the automaton animal showed off a variety of skills that other non-robotic dogs possess, including sitting down and coming to heel when commanded, as well as navigating the usual obstacles and people that you might encounter on a dog walk. 10. Snickalike Titanoboa Robot is Beyond Eek Many 40-something surfers become 6-year-olds when seeing spiders, snakes, and insects in machine form. They either think the machines are scary but funny or at the least entertaining. A group of artists are giving them plenty to screech and talk about this month. The Mondo Crew is part of Eat Art of Vancouver, British Columbia, the collective of artists, designers, and builders who make large kinetic, robotic, and mechanized sculptures. They are working on their project for a formidable 50-foot electromechanical snake that weighs over 2,000 pounds and will slither on land and glide underwater. The fitting name for this project, and the snake, is Titanoboa. Artist Charlie Brinson thought of the idea of building Titanoboa after learning about the discovery of fossilized remains of the actual Titanoboa. This was an enormous prehistoric snake that lived 60 million years ago. 
He assembled a team and they began building a replica of Titanoboa this summer. The machine continues to be developed. The Titanoboa project seeks to reincarnate the beast as an amphibious, electromechanical serpent machine designed to provoke discussions of our changing climate and energy use in a historical context.